What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So we have had our 2020 Model 3 for two years now. We're actually coming up on that in a couple days, but two years with our first EV. And if you guys follow the channel, you've known we have been in love with this. We got the standard range plus when it was released. We had a pre-ordered obviously like you always do and it's been phenomenal. One of the big callouts that you just don't know and we didn't know personally when we ordered it is just how the range varies, right? So we know you have all your estimated EPA mileage and exactly what you could possibly get in ideal conditions, which isn't really realistic, right? So after two years of driving it, about 24,000 miles, there is a lot more degradation in that battery than what we originally thought. So what we did, we actually took a trip down from Jacksonville to Orlando, which is a little over maybe 140 miles or so, give or take. And the standard range plus that we got in 2020 was rated at about 250 miles, give or take a little bit. So, you know, that's ideal conditions. Like we said, you're never going to hit that, but you would assume to lose maybe about 50 miles or so of range. So, we were hoping around 200 miles you should be able to get from that point to the other destination relatively easy. So especially if you're going 150 miles or something like that, there should be enough buffer to get there safely. We found that not to be the case, especially in the conditions we were going in. We really struggled to get a good amount of miles and after 100 miles of driving only, it was uh, significantly lowering our total available range. Now, you can say what you want, you can display range, you can display percentage, regardless of what you want to see vis visually, it's not going to take away from you actually losing all of this range. So you can see, yes, we're pulling in a lot of energy we're using, it's because of the weather conditions and all that, but this has been a common theme now for a little while since we've been driving this vehicle. We have been struggling to get anything near 150 miles of actual usable uh, travel distance. So. That's pretty substantial. If you go for a baseline, you know, standard range Model 3 or just a Model 3 rear wheel drive, whatever they're calling it now, you have to keep this in mind. This range is not going to work for a lot of people unless you literally just drive around the town. Yes, sometimes you'll see better improvements on range. Sometimes you'll see worse. It really just depends on those weather conditions. There's just so many factors at play speed of the vehicle, wind resistance, uh, driving conditions as far as rain, snow, it, you're never going to come remotely close to that EPA miles. And now that's not to knock Tesla at all. You guys know we just bought a new Model S as well. Love it. This is not unique to Tesla. It goes across the board for any EV vehicles. It's just going to be a little different on that EPA rating. Now people say Ford's Mach-E, maybe Audi and all that actually are more true to life on what they actually get for range. But keep this in mind, what you see on that sticker or what you see advertised is not necessarily always going to be the true mileage you get, let alone a year, two years, three years later down the road, you will always lose some of that charge. So having said that, what do you guys think? Is that a little disappointing from what we're showing you here? Do you think, uh, was it just a driver? Was it operator error? I'm curious to see what you guys have experienced in your own day-to-day -day routines. Comment down below. Let us know. Is this an issue with the vehicle? Is this what you guys are seeing? Let us know. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.